You were standing next to the generator. Turn on generator. No. No, no, no. That's, that's not cool. What is up guys? I am Dreasonable and welcome to Stories Untold. So from what I know of this game, which isn't much, this is a different style of game than what I've played before. It's more of an interactive horror rather than a survival horror like Outlast or like Layers of Fear. Although I don't know if Layers of Fear is necessarily a survival horror, but it felt like I was trying to survive the whole time. But this is more of an interactive horror game. So I don't have much that I can tell you about it. So let's just jump in and uh, see what's going on. So episode one is br broken up into four episodes. Episode one is called The House Abandoned. So let's start. Look around, go to, and open commands are your friends. Use them often. Okay. Okay, so we're in the game now. Here we go. So you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box, bef glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay, look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but, appar but appears to be unlocked. Open... Glove box? Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Go. I was typing. Press enter to continue. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's, I just... Okay. Did it reset? Okay, so it just, it goes back. All right. So, go around back. Go to the back. Back. Well, this isn't going well. Get out of the car. Oh. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Stop being a dumbass and learn to play games properly. I don't understand either. That's the problem, game. I don't understand how to play you. Okay, so I'm outside now. Go around back. Where would you like to go? The back? I'm so Okay. Uh, gaze up at the house. <laughs> oh my god. Walk to the back? Backyard. Generator. This is Dreasonable speaking. Listen to your master. I figured you wouldn't. Okay. Go to the front door. What the shit? Walk. Walk. Uh, walk to the backyard. 
I'm okay. I'm just bad at this. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Walk to the side of the house. Go to the side. You take a walk around the to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to the generator. You are standing next to the generator. Turn on. Ch turn on the generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Go to the front of the I can't type. Of the house. You walk back around to the front of the house. Oh, the house is grand. Yeah, I know. I know what it is. The house is grand. It's grand. It's grand. It's grand. It's grand. Go to the front door. Uh, go in the house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use house key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on light switch. You flick the switch on and the lights come on. Flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Go to the utility room. Learn to type. Learn to type well. Learn to stop being such a piece of shit. Neither do I. All right. Go to the utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Go upstairs. Upstairs. Leave the kitchen? Okay. Blah 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 Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. Very good. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Okay. Go to the bathroom. Good. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Take a dump. Uh, drop a deuce. Uh, piss in the sink. Piss in the sink! Okay. Leave the bathroom. You step back onto the landing. That's a terrible beat. Okay, go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Open the box, open the box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. That has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. Not to be confused with the plus one. It's been, <laughs> it's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still set up though. Okay, leave room. I just want to check out the other bedroom. Okay, look at the pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps are, are happy family. Okay, go to sister's bedroom. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Okay, leave room. I like this. I like these kind of interactive games. I don't think they get enough credit because they can be quite, like words can be quite scary. So I'm, I get it's not scary right now. I'm expecting it will be. 
it is labeled as an interactive horror game. So go to my room. You back into your room again. Okay. Preserved so well. We got the computer. Copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. It's all still to be set up though. Set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Insert. Insert. Insert game. Uh, play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh, shit. Uh, what happened? Okay. It, it just got scary. You pull up to the driveway of the family home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Well, that took a turn. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out the car, get out, get out the car, get out, get out, get out, get out. And it cuts off. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home. Okay, it's the same thing. I already did. Okay. Uh, exit. Or leave car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, enter house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. It didn't mention a generator this time. Uh, use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Uh, enter house. You re reluct- Um. Um. A door? I just heard a door open. As I entered the house. What the fuck? Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands, and you feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to, to the touch. Turn on light. There's no power to the lights. Generator must be off. Okay. Leave house. You go back outside. Coward? Okay. Well, up yours. Okay, so, uh, go to the side. I can't type. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Uh, go to generator. You are standing next to the generator. Turn on generator. No. No! No, no. That's... That's not cool. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Uh, run away. Run far away. Run until you are out of breath. Alright. Go to the front. This is weird. This is so... Amazingly cool, though. So, who am I right now in this situation? I have no idea. This is really, really weird. But I turned on the generator, and the lamp in front of me just turned on. And I'm working on a computer. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Enter house. Yep. Pitch back, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Okay. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet and the stench of...
No. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Go upstairs. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. This is so creepy! Can... Can I interact with this? Oh my god. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. What? No. What the hell? Go to the kitchen. Let's check the kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops, the tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Okay. Check carcass. Go to carcass. Go to wall. Go to utility room. I'm having trouble spelling that word. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Not yet? Alright. Leave kitchen. This is... This... Your shoes are wet. Why are my shoes wet? Oh, what did I step in? Okay. Okay. Go to the living room. I don't want to go upstairs yet. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. The living room, although... Okay. What? 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 This is so messed up. All right. Look around living room. Run down and empty. Abandon and for good reason. Okay, leave living room. I gotta go upstairs now. I swear, if I hear myself going up the stairs, I'm going to shit. Now, good news is, now they're not brown pants, but I am wearing khakis today. Maybe that'll mask the stain a bit. Maybe. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. It creaked! It creaked, I heard it. Okay, same but... I didn't read that. Answer phone. You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister, sister's room. Your room in the bathroom. Pictures all are all... We're good. Pictures are all over the wall. But something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Okay. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Okay. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Knock? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Knock on the door. Okay, where do I get this code? Read note. The note is now clean again, simply reading, get in, slash, get out. Same, but different. What is the code? What is the code? Look for code? Open the door. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Okay. Leave hallway. Go downstairs. I don't know where this combination is.
Read note. Okay, so... Kitchen. Oh, go to kitchen. Go into the kitchen. Let's see if I read the note in here. This is... This is really weird. Read note. The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Okay. Where do I get this code? Uh, look at the wall. I'm fine. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Leave kitchen. Okay. Oh, this is so weird. This game is terrifying. Like, this game is terrifying. Alright. Go upstairs. And meet your doom. The day stairs creak. Alright. Well, we're gonna go and... My room now. Go to my room. Okay. Enter 1986. Enter combination. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key is in your hand. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and now and can now input the code. 1986. No thanks. Nope, I just heard I just heard it unlock. I just heard it unlock. Open door. Fuck that. Go inside. Go in my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on, the clock reads. 9999. Nine, nine. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the, the note tight. I hear breathing. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but, I, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault. I don't believe you like you mean it, please. It was all my fault in capitals? It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault. Finally. Okay. Come again? What the hell was that? Okay, so that unlocked episode two, but we'll end this video here. We'll just, we'll go videos based on episodes unless one of the episodes is really short, but that, that was not seemingly a short amount of time. My first thoughts, this game is really freaky. That was like, the, that interactive story was incredible, though. Like, just with the door opening and you can see the light come in and you can hear the breathing and the footsteps and just the change. Wow. So far, so good with this. That was awesome. That was really awesome. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you're enjoying this video, let me know in the comment section below because I am, and I'd like to know if you guys are as well. And if you haven't so far, definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be reminded every time a new video comes out which is daily. And keep an eye out for part two, which will be coming out tomorrow. We'll be doing episode two to see what is actually going on with this story. But I gotta say, strong start. Very strong start with this game. Wow, loved that. But again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, stage reasonable.